I would be interested to hear. Offhand, would you say that Mindy sells more cheesecake or more strudel? Going strictly by my own personal preference, I'd say more cheesecake than strudel. For how much? What? For how much? Why, Nathan. I never knew you to lay money on the line. You always take your bite off the top. A thousand bucks says that yesterday Mindy sold more strudel than cheesecake. Nathan, let me tell you a story. Have we got a bet? On the day when I left home to make my way in the world, my daddy took me to one side. Son, my daddy says to me, I am sorry I'm not able to bankroll you to a very large start, but not having the necessary letters to get you rolling. Instead, I'm going to stake you to some very valuable advice. One of these days in your travels, a guy is going to show you a brand new deck of cards on which the seal is not yet broken. Then this guy is going to offer to bet you that he can make the jack of spades jump out of this brand new deck of cards and squirt cider in your ear. But son, you do not accept this bet because as sure as you stand there, you're going to wind up with an ear full of cider. Now, Nathan, I do not suggest that you have been clocking Mindy's cheesecake. Would I do such a thing? However, if you are really looking for some action, I will bet you the same 1,000 that you cannot name the color tie you have on. Have we got a bet? No bet. Polka dots. In the whole world, nobody but Nathan Detroit could blow a thousand bucks on polka dots. Hi, Sky. Nice to see you, Benny. How goes it, Sky? Healthy at the moment and with you nicely. Nicely, nicely, thanks. Nathan, what's the matter, Nathan? You look sick. A temporary disorder. The cheesecake backed up on him. Maybe that's why they told us they sell more strudel than cheesecake. No. Oh. Nathan Adelaide gave us a message for you. Be sure and pick her up at the hot box after the show. And don't be late. Yes, dear. I mean, OK. Yes, dear. This is husband talk if I ever heard it. Nathan, you were trapped because Adelaide is the kind of a doll that is most difficult to unload. I don't want to unload her. I love her. A guy without a doll, well, if a guy does not have a doll, who would holler on him? A doll is a necessity. Like I told you, I am not putting the knock on dolls. It's just that they have something to have around only when they come in handy, like cough drops. And the proof that I'm right is that dolls are available all over the place, as far as the eye can see. Not dolls like Adelaide. Nathan, nothing personal and no offense, but figuring weight for age, all dolls are the same. All dolls are the same, huh? As far as the eye can see. And it seems to me that the one place a doll would come in handy would be on a trip to Havana. This being the case, how come you ain't got one? How come you are going alone without a doll? A matter of choice. I choose to travel alone, but if I wish to take a doll to Havana, the supply is more than Woolworths has got beads. Not high-class dolls. There's only one class, indivisible and interchangeable. A doll is a doll, all dolls, any doll, you name her. Any doll? Will you bet on that? Would you bet a thousand bucks that if I name a doll, you can take the same doll to Havana with you tomorrow? You've got yourself a bet. I name her. Her? Sergeant Sarah Brown. Daddy, I got cider in my ear. 